Well, welcome to my uh, little shop, which is very, very dirty right now. Today I'm trying to accomplish uh, kind of a big thing that I've never tried before. So I'm working with lock miters, which are these little angled uh, with tongues on them. And uh, they're a little tricky and you can find lots and lots of things to set them up online. Some very, very good uh, things, so I'll refer you there first. But uh, I'm working with very large panels. Um, and so uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating a cabinet with a very long exposed wall, which is this, uh, be about six feet long, um, and then going into the panel that you see there on top. And uh, I wanna make it so it's a nice even flow and it looks really good. But, and I was able to run uh, that uh, smaller panel, the end panel, through my, my router table here, no problem with that. Uh, that worked just fine. But I'm working with something here now, six feet long, pretty heavy, and doing it myself. So here's the process I came up with. I have set uh, my edge guide here just a fuzz past um, uh, the, the, the distance. So it's actually going to cut off a little more than I need, which is fine. I've got extra to cut off to, uh, to cut it to size later. And then I set my router bit using uh, the, the ones I had cut before. Got it set, um, had tuned it in a little bit, didn't take a whole lot, just had to move it about a 64th of an inch closer. And once I got that set, uh, it ran great. So, uh, so that's how I got it set up. Okay, after a whole lot of nonsense um, of getting this thing set up, we're ready. Please, Lord Jesus, let this work. And a few minutes of uh, cleaning and moving furniture and such later, here's the final fit. Um, had a little bit of a warpage in one of them, so I had to clamp it together. But otherwise, once it's together, I think it's going to look absolutely fabulous. So lock miters on large panels, it's doable.